We're gonna be doing something a little bit different. It's not so much jewelry related, but kind of, sort of. I saw this advertisement for a gold digger candle that allegedly, according to the candle, has two diamonds once it goes all the way to the bottom and it's wrapped in 24 karat gold glitter. Claim it to be actual genuine diamonds. So I really went through and melted this shit down just to double check. Throw my motherfucking music so we can look into a candle with diamonds in it? I'm kind of a big deal. Good morning, my beautiful peoples. You know who it is. It's your boy. See to you to be today. So the candle brand is by a brand called Forever Wick Candle Company, and this one is conveniently called Gold Digger. So here is the Gold Digger candle, which I've spent over a week, countless hours to melt this shit down. First of all, it is very windy. I don't know why I decided to do this video outside, but I did because I wanted a change of scenery. So me being a fragrance guy. I was interested in the actual scent profile and to know if it's any good and it actually is very good. Here are some of the notes that the fragrance has. Scented sandalwood, creamy amber, floral notes, bergamot, lingering oak moss. So essentially it's, it opens up bright and citrusy. I feel like I'm on my fragrance channel, but it opens up bright and, citru bright and citrusy. It has some woody nuances and there's like a creamy, a creamy kind of vanilla vibe that comes out of this fragrance. So I've melted this down and if you can see inside, there is two golden nuggets at the base of the candle. It really has a lot of gold fleck all over the base, but I melted this shit down to really get down to the root. Now, it was just lit a couple of minutes ago and I'm not trying to burn myself, so I have a dental tool here and I'm gonna pick at both of these just to see if I can pull them out, which is working perfectly. So I should have brought like gloves or something because this is gonna get messy, but I have the tool here. I'm gonna take one of these out, it's still a little warm, and here's what the golden nugget thing looks like. It looks like it's wrapped in nut, but I don't know anything about this brand. All I saw was candle and actual diamonds inside, so I had to pull the trigger on it. So this does look like 24 karat gold leaf. Gold leaf is edible, it's not too expensive. You can wrap a bunch of shit in gold leaf, and it has a little bit of a vial inside. A little vial with a screw on it. So apparently this website, and I didn't really look at the details as I really look at details of shit, indicates that they have some sort of diamond exchange program. So I guess if you're a person who collects these candles and buys a ton of them and gets a bunch of diamonds, maybe there's some sort of incentive? I don't know. All right, so I got a little rag here to brush this off. And let me put the little gold foil pieces back in here because maybe I can melt it, I don't know. All right, so there seems to be like a little plastic piece inside, which I don't know if it'll even let me. It looks like a plastic Ziploc actually. All right, I got it, look. It's like a little plastic zippy bag. This feels like cocaine. Oh, something just fell. Is it the diamond? No, I see the diamond. I see the alleged real diamond. We put this both back in here. There's two containers, so I'm assuming there's two. And here's the little Ziploc baggie, and there is a tiny, tiny, tiny diamond there, if you can see it. Let me try to clean off this little baggie. I mean, this little baggie's bringing back memories. A little diamond right in here. I don't know how good you guys can see it little diamond right in there now this is easily gonna get lost so what i suggest is let's try to go back into my studio and test this bitch out all right so we jumped back into my studio it was a little windy i apologize for the audio i'm sure there's gonna be some audio pieces that are a little subject if you're wearing earbuds just beware so i had to pull out the gemmaro testarossa because i wanted to be sure that this tiny little thing here is an actual diamond and I didn't want to be a moissanite or any other lavish type stone which I mean it could still be I don't know if the company indicates it to be natural stone but whatever go ahead and break this open and drop it on the mat and this is super super tiny I mean this is gonna get lost instantly if you don't keep it in a bag, let me show you. This is just giving you an idea of how small this stone is. Super, super tiny. Right, so I'm gonna try to just stab this on my finger and see if it'll test accordingly and hope for the best, man. I hope this, this point can even touch this freaking stone. All right, here we go. Here's the stone. What? Diamond. 
the freaking stone test as diamond. So there is two tiny, tiny, tiny diamonds in this gold digger candle from Forever Wick. You see how many millimeters this stone is? All right, so we were able to confirm that it's actual diamonds and I'm really surprised, it's kind of fucking cool. And the stone is 2.2 millimeters. 2.2 millimeters, this tiny, tiny little diamond. So they not faking jacks. Gold Digger by Forever Wick Candle Company or Forever, what the hell is it called again? Forever Wick Candle Company actually has diamonds and there's still another one in there, but it's gonna be a big ass mess for me to open that up. What am I gonna do with these diamonds? So real quick, I just jumped onto their website and they have a reward shop, AKA a diamond exchange. So if you purchase a bunch of these candles or you become like a member of their thing, I don't know if it's a membership or if you just buy stuff and you trade in 10 diamonds, for 10 diamonds, you can get stuff like this. Bracelets, rings. Things like that. Uh, that's a pretty cool concept. I'm not gonna hold you, yo. This is pretty cool. I think this was a very fun surprise, very cool concept. If you wanna give somebody a gift of diamonds and they're a candle lover, this might be something that they're interested in. I'm 100% gonna lose this stone, without a doubt. I don't know what I'm gonna do with these two stones. Any suggestions? I'm open to interpretation. Shout out to Forever Wake Candle Company. I don't know who you are. I just bought these because it says there's gentleman diamonds inside. I don't know if they're lab. I don't know if they're natural, but it says that's diamond. I love y'all motherfuckers from the heart, and I'll see y'all bitches next time. You know who is biggest in the game? Smooches. Who's best? One of them's gonna pass the test. Who buy? For the fly gun holder, money folder, roller roller, star tag. When it's time to call back. For the rough, rugged, and raw way. This nigga gay, it's a game, but he don't play. For all the chicks that got dead in the penthouse suite on top of my mom's crib. It's long since you never get in. It's long since you would think that you would.